Bolivia has enjoyed independence since 1825. Today is a holiday to celebrate the La Paz Revolution of the 16th of July, 1809. The Church of San Francisco looks out onto the plaza of the same name. Steep roads climb up behind the church and lead to many market areas, stalls and shops, selling everything imaginable from plastic wash tubs to colourful woven shawls. This is one of the excursions from La Paz that is extremely worthwhile. It's possible to journey over La Cumbre Pass and descend towards the Amazon Basin. This is a journey that drops from about 16,000 feet to a mere 6,000 feet in just a few hours. Our guide for the remainder of our adventure is Fanny Burgos Zamora, a young student from Sucre. She explains something about the weavings of the area. All these weavings are made by, by hand with natural dyes, as the one as I showed you with Teresa on the other side. And also we have different kind of styles depending which region these people live on. Cerro Rico, the rich hill, dominates the town of Potosí. Legend has it that in 1544, a llama herder, Diego Walpa, in search of two missing animals, built a fire at the foot of the mountain. The fire grew so hot that the earth began to melt and a shiny liquid oozed from the ground. It was silver. It wasn't long before the Spanish learned of the wealth buried here and in 1545, Potosí was founded and excavation work began. We are slowly descending from a 5,000 metre or 16,500 foot pass. Ahead lies Saricabur, a volcano that marks the Bolivian Chilean border. This is just about as far southwest as we can get in Bolivia. We're only a few kilometers from the Chilean border. 